This animation shows you how an ink painting is coming together, from the first brushstroke to the final image. The animation digitally captures the movements of a contemporary ink painter, who was asked to redraw the 16th century painting Jurojin by Sesson Shuke in the Freer Gallery of Arts collection. And this animation was produced in collaboration with the Institute of Knowledge and Inspiration and Tokyo University of the Arts. You can see how the painter starts by outlining the head, the signature feature of Jirojin, one of the seven gods of good fortune. This is done in a single line. As the brush moves across the paper, here and there, the painter applies slight pressure, resulting in darker accents of ink. In lighter tone of ink and pushing the brush further down onto the paper, a few sweeping motions of the painter's hand give shape to the outlines and folds of Jirojin's garment. Notice how the speed of the hand's movement decelerates towards the end of each stroke. In a technique that was adapted from Buddhist paintings, the background is covered in washes to amplify the negative space used for Jirojin's robe. The stubby nose, weary eyes, frowning mouth, and furs on the forehead follow before the painter dips the brush in darker ink and retraces some of the lighter outlines. This type of layering strokes was part of Sesson's style, but can be found among other ink painters as well. It serves to give the picture a stronger sense of presence and plasticity. Notice how the hair is done in small wavy lines that are meant to evoke a tightly pulled back knot. Washes in a hue that is darker than the background complete Jorogin's skin tone, further intensifying the whiteness of the robe. Then the painter returns to the face by completing it in darker strokes of similar thickness, each added in a distinctive movement of the hand. Finally, darker accents are added to the face and sweeping strokes of black ink round up the outlines of the robe. The wavy appearance in the brushstroke on Jirojin's back and the flying white used for the upper part of the sleeve are all meant as declarations of the painter's own virtuosity.